Hello guys and welcome to another video. I thought I'd show you a more in-depth um, overview and review of the Xacti um, camcorder that I use to do my videos on YouTube. Um, the reason I use something like this instead of a digital SLR is quite simple. It has in-camera autofocus. Um, and generally speaking, if you want to do videos regularly, um, you want a video camera or a camcorder really. Um, SLRs are fine for doing the occasional bit of video, but they're not ideal, especially if you want to do long pieces of video. This can record until the SD card runs out. Um, most digital SLRs have a limit of 30 minutes. So, let me show you more about this particular camera. Right guys, this is the Xacti camcorder that I tend to use. Basically it's a dual camera. It has basically various functionality in terms of HD video. It can do um, basically 180p um, at 60 frames a second. Um, and basically it has a lot of extra features on this particular camera. So I just want to talk about what I've got here. Um, in regards to my setup and hopefully this will give you an idea on what I actually use generally speaking. The main reason I use this camera over my digital SLRs is quite simple. Right, here you can have a, a better viewpoint with me using my 10-18 to 18, um, EFS lens and hopefully you, you get more of an idea of what I use here. So obviously we have a, a decent mini tripod here what I can do is fold it up and hold it like that as a um, a cam basically to follow me you know um, it has lots of features this camera does basically it's one of the first dual cameras that came out some years ago um, but it's a camcorder first rather than it being a still camera that can do video so it can do stills the stills limitation is 8 megapixels but in, you don't really get a lot of manual focus it's all in menus that you have to adjust the focus which isn't ideal for doing photography however it is really handy for doing video and the main reason for that is it can do 180p um, HD full HD at 60 frames a second video now there's extra options and I'll show you what it can do in terms of video um, so in terms of my setup we have a, a standard tripod here I forget what brand it is but it's just a generic one um, obviously the exact camera I paid around £350 for the camera um, but it's really nice in what it does we've got a video to go road um, microphone with obviously one of those sleeves on there to uh, basically help or reduce noise from wind and the reason I went for this video to go um, microphone from Rode is because it don't require any sort of um, batteries the power comes directly from the camera um, in terms of how I've got it connected to the camera basically it's a 3.5 jack that goes into an adapter for a 2.5 jack and then that just goes in the 2.5 slot I also have a headphone socket so if I want to monitor my sound I can do so and when I got this uh, Rode microphone I did notice there was um, a big difference between um, the actual onboard sound to using the Rode sound basically it cut out a lot of static and hissed noise so obviously the, the the video from this is really clear. Um, the other benefits obviously on this particular camera it has other features. Um, but one thing I did add to it was the wide angle semi fisheye lens. Which Sanio, which is the maker of the camera, actually uh, manufacture. So there's a lot of these types of lenses out there that are pretty poor quality. Um, this particular one is the Xacti 
0.4x semi fisheye lens with macro. So what that basically means is you can detach a part of the lens like so and it's like basically a, like a, a macro lens that you can uh, do some macro photography or video which is really handy if you only if you do want to do some macro photography and all you do is you screw it on the front of there now because it's a fish eye um, you can see edges in the frame so what I tend to do is I zoom in a little bit and basically by doing so it gives me the effect of a proper wide angle lens on this right I just want to go through the various video options that you've got available on this camera um, which is really handy so under video we've got 1920 by 180 60 frames a second um, then we've got the ability to do it in 30 frames per second then uh, 1280 by 720 at 30 frames per second 640 by 480 30 frames per second not really useful that and then lastly we've got uh, 448 by 336 at 240 frames per second so basically this camera has lots of options and it is really handy if I want to do HD video unlimited recording times in high quality and that's why I chose this camera because it has that facility and capability um, it also has a fo photo mode which there are various options and let's just have a look at those so we can choose 12 megapixels by 4000 by 3000 8 megapixels high 3264 by 2448 um, 8 megapixel small 3264 by 2448 and then it can do 6 megapixel in widescreen 3264 by 1840 and 2 megapixel uh, 1920 by 180 uh, so if you wanted to screenshot from video in HD 30 frames a second or 60 frames a second um, that's more or less what you would get if you were taking a snapshot of uh, some HD video so as you can see this camera is really handy uh, for doing just quick photographs nothing high spec um, because obviously it's not got SLR lenses um, in it but as a general video camera rather than um, a, um, a photo camera um, it is really handy for doing various options and obviously you've got scene selection because of different white balances such as uh, sports, portrait, landscape, night portrait, snow and beach so if it's really uh, bleached out in terms of light uh, you can use one of these presets even fireworks when it's dark it also has a self timer of up to 10 seconds which is actually better than the, the SLRs I own which only have a two second timer I just want to show you the difference between the inbuilt lens and using one of these adapters so let's just put the fisheye lens on as you can see we've got a, a bit of a ring going round let's just turn it back on we just zoom in a little in a little bit to get rid of the black ring that we've got there just enough and there you go and it's quite a wide shot as you can see in the screen so I hope you found this a little bit interesting and find out what I use to make videos hello guys just doing a bit of a walk around uh, with this camera just so that you get an idea of how well it tracks my face in terms of a blogging camera so as you can see it's keeping me in focus it's got a camera shape inbuilt into the actual lens and the camera and it's constantly keeping me tracked in and focused now if you're interested in what it looks like without the adapter lens that uh, exact is 0.4 semi fisheye lens I'll take it off now and you'll get to see what it's like with the standard lens
So, as you can see, that's the main difference with the actual lens taken off. Um, it's still a good camera, even with that um, wide angle uh, fisheye lens that I've got. Um, but as you can see, it's keeping me tracked. Uh, it's not too jerky. And my hand is moving quite a bit as well. So, um, it's really handy. Um, so, you know, I just wanted to show you what I actually use to do videos. And uh, thank you for watching and I hope this was interesting.